Hi and welcome to my channel. I would like to share with you my top 12 beauty products of 2019. These are a collection of hair, beauty and skincare products that have worked well for me. I have enjoyed using them the past year and will continue to do so moving on. So now let's start. The first one is this Clinique Beyond Perfecting 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. I love this foundation because it's a natural finish which is not too matte or dewy. It's also very moisturising but not very oily on my skin which is great because I have combination skin. I got this in the shade 180 Amber which has a warm yellow undertone and I feel it suits me very well. In fact, this is a foundation I'm wearing right now. It's hard to find a foundation for me because most foundations for dark skin seems to have orange or cool undertones and those tones don't look very appealing on me because I'm more of a warm undertone. I've done a review on this so you can check it on the cards above or in the description box. Next is this Benefit Paula Toasted Bronzer. This is a great bronzer for dark skin. This is not like most bronzers that have a shimmer finish. This has a matte finish which is also great for contouring. I love that this gives warmth to my face and completes my makeup look. I feel that anyone that is into makeup should have this as this comes in different shades for all skin tones. Me, I don't contour anymore as I prefer to use this Benefit Toasted Bronzer as it has a soft natural look on me whereas contouring for me can look a bit too much and personally I don't think I need to contour my face. Um, I feel that my face shape is alright, I don't really need too much contouring, too much sculpturing and stuff. And yeah, I also have the bronzer on too and I have a bit of blusher as well. So yeah, this is what I have on right now. And I've also done a review on this too, so please check the cards above and also you can check the description if you want to know more about this. This is the Simple Cleansing Wipes. These wipes are super gentle on the skin. It doesn't drag or irritate my skin, which is great if you have sensitive skin. The wipes are so wet and moist that it removes my makeup and stubborn mascara. It's enough to clean the whole face with just one wipe. And that's what I love about this. Next is this L'Oreal Extraordinary Oil Rapid Reviver Power Conditioner. This is a wonderful deep conditioner for quick conditioning as this doesn't require any waiting time. This instantly nourishes, softens, detangles and moisturizes my hair in seconds. I use this nearly all the time after shampooing. Other times I experience other conditioners but I always come back to this one because it always puts my hair in good condition and works better than other conditioners that I've used in the past. I've bought this conditioner loads of times, like countless times, and I will continue to do so. And also I've done a review on this too, so you can check this again um, in the cards above if you want to know more about this. Next is this, this L'Oreal LV Extraordinary Oil Nourishing Shampoo for dry, dull hair. This shampoo is great for moisturizing and cleansing the hair at the same time. I've used this shampoo for years, especially when I've had natural afro hair. It helps detangle and keep in moisture whilst cleansing the hair, especially if you have extremely dry hair. I've used this shampoo on my natural afro hair. Now I use this on my relaxed hair. This is the Apogee Caffeine Shampoo. This shampoo is great for stimulating the hair roots and preventing hair loss because of the main ingredient which is caffeine. I love the fact that this instantly makes my hair shed less and the treatment lasts for like three to four days. They also have a leave-in treatment for people that don't wash their hair regularly so I might try that to see if it'll work better for my hair shedding but other than that this is a great shampoo, it does what it says, so yeah. Next is the Kusa Naturals Jamaican Black Castor Oil 
hair lotion moisturizer this hair moisturizer is very moisturizing and it's enriched with black castor oil coconut oil and other great ingredients which helps with reviving and moisturizing my hair this softens my hair and keeps my hair moisturized for nearly a week before my wash day I don't hear people talking about this hair moisturizer but trust me this is worth a try next is this OIS olive oil professional cream relaxer what I love about this relaxer is that it doesn't relax my hair bone straight and it doesn't leave my hair feeling dry like most relaxers I've done reviews on this so please check them out on the cards above next is this Revlon Pro Collection One Step Dryer and Volumizer this is a special type of dryer that styles and dries the hair at the same time this straightens and dries my hair very quickly it also straightens my new growth which makes it easier to maintain two textures in my hair since it's relaxed I just love the bristles like it's a thick round looking brush and like it like I said it blow dries my hair like really quick and it straightens it like the roots like this um, dryer is amazing like it's good I love this and I always keep it back in its box to you know protect the bristles and and also keep it clean so that is what I'm going to do right now next is the Cetaphield gentle skin cleanser this Cetaphil cleanser is a mild non-irritating cleanser for dry or sensitive skin this is also soap free it doesn't foam but don't be fooled into thinking that this wouldn't cleanse your skin this still cleanses my face very well and it left my face feeling refreshed um, this is for the face and body me personally I use this for my face next is this Nivea body lotion for dry skin extra rich moisturizing this is an old classic moisturizer that has rich and creamy formula for dry skin what I like about this moisturizer is that it's not too thick but it's also creamy which makes it easy to rub and absorb into my skin lastly is this Barry M under the sea nail paint and it's in the shade butterfly fish this nail polish is a color shifted two-tone formula with a mixture of pink and blue this is what I use nearly every day on my nails because it's natural and it has a pretty undertone and this is what I have on right now one thing I don't really like about this nail polish is that it chips easily and it doesn't last long so I use it with a top coat by Barry M which works well with protecting the nail polish from chipping and it lasts for about three to four days before it starts chipping so that's it for my best hair and beauty products of 2019 hope you've enjoyed watching this video please like comment and subscribe and hope to see you in my next video okay Bye.